So to compare fractions, but I need to have what we call a common denominator. So I don't have one here. I have a 5 and a 6. So I need to know what my least common denominator, what we consider our least common multiple is. So there's a couple of different ways you can find that. The first way is, is you can just list them out. And you might even see it right off the bat. You're trying to figure out what number can I divide 5 into and what number can I divide 6 into evenly. So write down your freebie. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. And I'm going to go ahead and stop right there and then I'll do the 6. So 6, 12, 18, 24, 30. Oh. I don't need to go anymore because I know that my least common denominator is 30. So what this means is that 4 fifths needs to turn into a fraction with a denominator of 30. And then 5 sixths needs to turn into a fraction with a denominator of 30. So I ask myself, hmm, how does a 5 get to a 30? So 5 times 6, and if I multiply the denominator by 6, I have to multiply the num numerator by 6. So 4 times 6 is 24. And then 6 times what gives you 30? 5. And then if you multiply the bottom by 5, you better multiply the top by 5. So 5 times 5 is 25. Now that my denominators are the same, I can compare my numerators. So I can see that 24 is less than 25. Now, we're going to do that same process with 8 and 9 because they're not the same denominator, but I, in order for me to compare them, I need to have the same denominator. I'm going to show you another way, though, um, to find your least common multiple. So, you have 8 and 9. Okay. Now, there's nothing that's in common between these, but there's numbers I can divide out by. So, I'm going to go ahead and do 8 divided by 2, and that gives me 4. And then I'm just going to slide the 9. And then I'm going to divide by 2 again. So 4 divided by 2 is 2. And slide the 9 again. So there's no other factors that I can divide out by 2 other than 1. But I can divide out a 3. So I'm going to slide this again. Divide out a 3. And then 9 divided by 3 is 3. So I'm done here with finding my least common multiple. And we call it a least common denominator when we're doing with the fractions. So I'm going to go ahead and write out 2 times 2 times 3 times 2 times 3. So if I look at that, 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 3 is 12. 12 times 2 is 24. And then 24 times 3. I'm going to do that old school over here. 24 times 3. 3 times 4 is 12. 72. So you might have already known, seen this in 8 and 9. Your common denominator is going to be 72. So 3 eighths needs to have a denominator of 72. And 3 ninths needs to have a denominator of 72. So 9 times 8 gives you 72. 21, or sorry, 3 times 8 gives you 24. And then 8 times 9, 3 times 9 gives you 27. So if I'm comparing 3 eighths and 3 ninths and comparing their equivalent fractions, 27 over 72 and 24 over 72, I can look at my numerators. 27 is greater, so this one's going to be greater than. Okay. And then looking at these next ones, I'm going to go ahead and pause it and create another. 